so um and i would like to link this to one of the questions that i've received from Sal salome and to baba uh, online also um now um for now um and at this time uh, more than ever we've had now to think about uh, integrated programming um and um protection mainstreaming as earlier mentioned by uh, some of the panelists and members. Um, so basically um, um, just ensuring more collaboration uh, and stronger coordination across sectors, um, you know, is, 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 is a fundamental aspect as we move, uh, aspect as we move forward. Uh, and um, you know, ensuring that, for instance, uh, services, multi-sectoral services are co-located in the same communities to ensure that clients have access to complementary services and referrals between sectors so that we can collectively address their needs. And especially in such context as Afghanistan, where we only have some of the services allowed to, you know, to, to continue, for example, health which is um, um, a very good entry point, uh, for instance, for protection. Uh, and for instance, by embedding protection staff, now we are referring to them as inclusion focal points, uh, you know, has also helped us in, in that regard. So basically uh, integrated programming um, and also multi-sector, multi-agency even coordination uh, to just ensure that um, we are uh, planning and uh, conducting assessments and community consultations together uh, so that we can have um, 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 well-informed community risk analysis, but also ensure that um, we have the tools uh, and resources required to, uh, you know, to, to support that level of integration. Over. Thank you very much.